The fracture state of rock core may be quantified by the measurement of three main parameters. TCR, total core recovery, SCR, solid core recovery, and RQD, rock quality designation. These parameters are widely used in empirical correlations to predict the behaviour of the rock mass. Each parameter is measured per core run. In each case, the initial measurement is made in metres to two decimal places and expressed as a percentage of the core run length. Tabulate these parameters in your notebook or logging sheet for clarity. Prior to logging, check the driller's logs and the core box labelling to ensure all core and samples are present. The borehole log must be a record that is as objective as possible of the ground conditions at the borehole position before it was subjected to the drilling process. Remove any ex situ materials, such as fall-in or reamings, from advancing casing. Identify drilling-induced fractures, areas of drilling disturbance or core loss. Drilling-induced fractures must therefore be excluded from the fracture assessment. These artificial fractures typically exhibit clean, fresh surfaces with bright minerals. The faces of the fracture will fit neatly together. Natural fractures will typically show staining weakened surfaces and perhaps some infill. If the origin of a fracture is in doubt, convention requires that it is assumed to be natural because this is a conservative approach. Total core recovery, TCR, is defined as the total length of sample recovered, expressed as a percentage of the core run length. TCR provides a record of the proportion of the core recovered and includes both solid and non-intact core. Where the core is fragmented, Place the pieces back in the box as best you can. TCR must be recorded for all cord materials including soil, concrete and brickwork. Solid core recovery SCR, is defined as the length of core that has a full diameter, not necessarily a full circumference, that is uninterrupted by natural discontinuities. By definition, any length of core that has a single set of inclined fractures will have a solid core recovery of 100%. Measurement of SCR applies to rock only and is expressed as a percentage of the core run length. Each of these pieces will be able to contribute to solid core recovery. This short section of solid core is bound by an inclined natural fracture at each end. This section of solid core contains a horizontal drilling-induced fracture, which will be excluded from our fracture state assessment. This irregular shaped piece of core fulfills the full diameter definition of solid core recovery for a small part of its length. This piece of core indicates that the rock mass is highly fractured, yet may still contribute to solid core recovery. It is entirely possible to obtain high quality core with 100% total core recovery and yet have low solid core recovery due to intersecting natural fractures. Rock quality designation, RQD, is defined as the sum of all solid core pieces that are greater than 100 mm in length. Measurement of RQD applies to rock only and is expressed as a percentage of the core run length. Check. Where core is soil, record TCR only. Where core is rock, record TCR, SCR and RQD. By definition, SCR must be less than or equal to TCR. RQD must be less than or equal to SCR. Percentages cannot exceed 100%. If you find that you have measured TCR of greater than 100%, then core gain or stress relief has occurred and you must make a correction accordingly. 
reference your soil and rock description manual for further guidance.